Hello students, how are you? I'm so glad you were able to join me for another fun and exciting language arts lesson. Now, as you know, the PEP exam is right around the corner. That's right. Now we're going to be focusing on the ability test this time. Now the ability test has several types of questions, but for this activity, we're going to be looking at one specific type of question, and that is the analogy type of question. Now, before we can begin, I want you to ask yourself, what is an analogy? Let's think about it. Hmm. That's right. An analogy shows a relationship between two or more kinds of things. So, as we're about to go through these questions, I want you to consider this specific question that you would ask yourself in order to arrive at the answer. What is the relationship between these two things? Let me repeat the question that you would ask yourself. What is the relationship between these two things? Once you can identify that relationship, you would now apply that relationship to the new analogy or to the words that you're now showing the relationship between. Are you ready? Let's go. Now let us look at our first example. It says, time is to clock as temperature is to A, heat, B, cold, C, barometer, or D, thermometer. Now, the first thing we must ask ourselves is, what is the relationship between the time and the clock? Let's think about it. What is the relationship between the time and the clock? Hmm. That's right. To tell the time, I must look on a clock. Or we have to read the clock, as our parents would say. Don't it? That's right. So in order to tell the temperature, what must we look at? Or what must we read? Let us look back at our answers. A, heat. B, cold. C, barometer. Or D, thermometer. If you guessed thermometer, then you are correct. Give yourselves a round of applause. Good job. But how do we know that the thermometer is the answer? Let us look at the options. A, heat. Hmm. Heat relates to the temperature, don't it? When it's either too hot. Cold. Hmm. That's relating to the temperature as well. What about barometer? Yeah, that's a totally different instrument. We don't use the barometer to tell the temperature. So the answer then would be thermometer. It's an instrument that we use to tell the temperature. Good job, boys and girls. Let us try another example. This example, or this question rather, says, pumpkin is to vine as pear is to A, bush, B, tree, C, round, or D, trellis. Now remember to ask yourself this question. What is the relationship between these two things? In other words, what is the relationship between the pumpkin and the vine? Let's think about it for a minute. What is the relationship between the pumpkin and a vine? Aha! A pumpkin grows on a vine. So, the relationship that we're going to apply now is to see on what does a pear grow or where would you find a pear? Let us look back at our answers. A, bush. B, tree. C, round. Or D, trellis. Did you find the answer? That's right. A pear would grow on a tree. So, pumpkin is to vine as pear is to tree. Good job, boys and girls. Now we're going to continue on with one more example. By then, I hope you would have gotten the gist of it, how we analyze and how we go through the questions as it relates to analogies. Let's try another example. Broom is to dirt as rake is to A, tool, B, clean, C, leaves, or D, plant. Remember to ask yourself the question, what is the relationship between these two things? So, think about it. What is the relationship between the broom and the dirt? I'm giving you 10 seconds. 
Go ahead. That's right. The relationship is that we use the broom to sweep the dirt. Isn't that so? I'm sure you'd have used a broom at home or at some other point in your life. No, we're going to apply that relationship. What would we use the rake to sweep? Is it A, tool, B, clean, C, leaves, or D, plant? Well done, boys and girls. It is indeed leaves. We normally use the rake to sweep the leaves around the yard. Good job. Now, we are going to try one final question. And I'll be here as you try to find the answer on your own. But let us first look at the question. Web is to spider as nest is to A, bush, B, cat, C, tree, or D, bird. Which is it? Remember to ask yourself this question. What is the relationship between these two things? Now, with that question in mind, can you tell me what the answer is? I'm giving you one minute. That's right. It is indeed bird. Because the relationship is that a spider lives in a web or it's a spider web. So therefore a bird lives in a nest. Good job boys and girls, you did so well. No, it is time to have our, you guessed it, one minute party. Are you ready? Yes, let's go. One minute party, eh, hey, one minute party, eh, hey, one minute party, eh, hey, one minute party. Give yourselves a round of applause. I hope you learned how to answer the analogy questions in the PEP ability test. Join me next time when we will look at another type of question for the PEP ability test. See you soon.